Hi everyone, welcome to the first day of Biography Month. It is May 10th and I'm so excited to announce our first Biography Month book, which is Rudy Garcia Tulson by Anne Wheel. And this is an awesome biography that I'm super excited to read with y'all. So let's do this. A Hero Who Has No Legs. Rudy Garcia Tulson is an unlikely hero. He wasn't always a talented athlete before he became a star Paralympic swimmer. He faced challenges. Ruby was born with birth defects to his mouth, hands, and legs. These affected the way his physical body looked and functioned. The most serious problems were his legs. Rudy was born with a club foot. This means his foot was turned in. He had trouble walking. Everyday tasks were challenging for Rudy, but he still went after his dreams. Rudy showed great courage at a very young age. His birth defects did not affect his mind. Rudy stayed focused on what he wanted and what he could do. Rudy hoped to walk and play like other children. Doctors performed surgeries to try to fix some of the problems with his legs, but they were unable to fix everything. Rudy had many operations, but his legs still had problems. It looked like Rudy might spend the rest of his life in a wheelchair. Doctors told Rudy they could give him new legs, but first they would need to remove his old legs. Rudy and his family decided he would have the operation. A surgeon is a doctor who performs a surgery. This is Rudy and this is a surgeon and a family talking to the surgeon. When Rudy turned five years old, he had the operation to remove his legs. Then doctors fit him with artificial legs. Scientists have created artificial limbs for people who need new arms and legs. The limbs are made from strong materials like metal and plastic. Rudy's new legs fit tightly on him. He can now stand and move easily. These legs change Rudy's legs. Life. Artificial limbs allow people without hands or legs to walk and hold things. And that is what an artificial limb or prosthetic looks like. New legs, new start. Rudy's new legs gave him freedom to try many sports. Rudy's new legs opened up new possibilities for him. Now Rudy could walk and run. He could even ride a bike like other kids his age. Rudy's new legs gave him courage to try new things. He began playing sports and learned how to swim. This is when Rudy developed a new interest. He dreamed of beco becoming a great athlete. He wanted to show people that he could do many of the same things they could. Rudy would not let anything stop him from reaching his goal. This made Rudy a hero. And this is what someone with a prosthetic legs looks like on a bike. Rudy is unable is able to swim faster than more sw most swimmers with two legs. Swimming became Rudy's favorite sport. He loved to swim and felt free in the water. Swimmers kicked their legs to move faster, but Rudy did not need his new legs for swimming. He began to discover that he could use his strong arms and upper body instead. He was able to swim quickly without legs. Rudy began practicing in the pool each day. Soon he became a great swimmer. Rudy began entering swim races. He made a goal to swim faster than swimmers with legs. He traveled around the country and won first place in many races. It was hard for other swimmers to catch him in the pool. Rudy also competed in triathlons. Triathlons are races that include swimming, biking, and running. Triathlons usually change their shoes for the running and biking parts of the race. Rudy changes his legs. Because he used artificial legs, he can choose their height. He uses shorter legs for running. They help him balance better. When Rudy was 10 years old, he became the youngest person without legs to finish a triathlon on his own. Rudy wears special legs for each sport he competes in.
Rudy set a world record and won the gold medal at the Paralympic Games in 2004. Rudy competed as a swimmer in the Paralympic Games. Games. He won many medals and set new world records. When he turned 16 years old, he won his first gold medal at the Paralympic Games in Athens, Greece. He won a second gold medal at age 18 at the Paralympic competition in Durban, South Africa. Since winning his first gold medals, Rudy was, has continued to set swimming records. The Paralympic Games are like the Olympic Games. The world's best athletes compete for medals. The difference is that Paralympic athletes have disabilities, but the focus of the Paralympic Games is not the disabilities. The games are about what these athletes can do. The Paralympic Games are held in the same year at the same place as the Olympic Games. Chapter 3, An Athlete's Life. Ruby lives and trains at the U.S. Olympic Complex. Rudy lives at a training center in Colorado Springs, Colorado. He spends most of his day working out. The training center has special equipment for Rudy to use. This allows him to train longer, harder, and safer. Rudy also works with doctors who study artificial legs and feet. They are looking for ways to improve artificial legs so Rudy can perform even better. Living at the training center helps Rudy improve his skills. He spends time with other athletes and eats helpful food. He takes care of himself so he can achieve his goals and succeed. In 2009, Rudy attempted one of the hardest athletic events. It is called the Ironman and takes place in Hawaii every October. It is the longest triathlon race. Participants begin swimming in the ocean. Then they bike through the mountains. They finish the race by running a very long di distance. The race had, was challenging, but Rudy finished it. He was one of the first people without both legs to compete in the Ironman. Rudy shows that people without legs can be great athletes. Rudy puts on his legs for the biking rate part of the race. During the Ironman race, athletes first swim 2.4 miles. Next, they bike 112 miles. Then they run a marathon, which is 26.2 miles. Everyone who finishes within the time allowed is called an Ironman. Do you guys want to be an Ironman? Do you think you guys would be able to finish an Ironman race like Rudy did? There's your question. So raise your hand if you think you can. Don't raise your hand if you don't think you could. Now, personally, I don't think I could. I don't think I'd even be able to get through the swimming portion because I'm not a great runner and I love biking, but don't think I could bike 112 miles. And swimming is fun, but I also don't think I could swim 2.4 miles in the amount of time that they give them. <laughs> okay. Chapter four, a true hero. Rudy is a hero to many kids. Is Rudy a hero for you guys? Thumbs up if he is, thumbs down if he isn't. It's okay what your opinion is, it's your opinion. A hero is someone who does something important to help others. Some heroes rescue people from danger. They save lives. People agree that Rudy is a different kind of hero. He lives his life in a way that inspires others. He is a role model who changes the way people think of amputees. He shows people that they can achieve their dreams through hard work. Rudy Garcia Tolson, The Life of a Hero. In 1988, Ruby was, Rudy was born on September 14th in California. 1993, Rudy had both, leg, both of his legs removed. 1998, at age 10, Rudy became the youngest double above the knee amputee to complete it in a triathlon on his own. 2003, Rudy was in Teen People Magazine, 20 Kids Who, Teens Who Will Change the World. 2004, at age 16, he won the gold medal and set the world record in swimming at the Paralympics in Greece. 2007, Rudy, Rudy moved to the Olympic Training Center. 2008, Rudy won gold 
gold and bronze medals in swimming at the Paralympic Games in China. In 2011, Rudy joined the Pan Pacific Para Swimming Championships U.S. team. And last but not least, in 2012, his 2012 goal was to be in his third Paralympic Games. These are some photos of him. Rudy did not set out to be a hero. He liked to be active. He loved sports and wanted to compete. His positive attitude and hard work, work made him a winner. Rudy traveled around the country and shares his story with people. He speaks to crowd and shares what he has learned. Rudy has inspired other people who have lost their arms and legs. He shows all people that a person without legs can still succeed. Rudy wins by the motto, lives by the motto, a brave heart is a powerful weapon. This means that when you are not afraid, you can do anything. These are the words of a true hero. Rudy's success inspires others to do their best. And this is Rudy speaking to a lot of other people who got their legs amputated or their arms or, you know, amputees. So now I have a few questions for y'all. Okay, are you ready y'all for your first question? Okay, are we ready to answer it? Can you answer it out loud or on a piece of paper? It's up to you or your teacher. First question is, how do you know that Rudy Garcia Telson is a biography? Which is all about what this month is about, biographies. So I'll give you a second to answer that one. And then you can always pause and answer before we start the next one. Okay, the next question is, what happened in Rudy's childhood that led him to become an athlete? And again, you can always pause and answer. Okay, question number three. Use what you know about synonyms to figure out the meaning of challenging. And number four, write, a, write about what Rudy achieved in Greece and South Af and Africa, which we learned about all in the book. Now, before we finish this read aloud, I want to go over few different words that we heard throughout the book. Artificial, which means not real slash made made. Birth defects, which means problem with a baby's body or mind when it is born. Operations, which is surgeries performed on a person's body to help that person to get better. Role model, which is a person whose good qualities are copied by others. Training center, which is a place where athletes live and work out. And triathlons, which is a three-part race, usually swimming, biking, and running. And those are our vocabulary words for this book. I hope you guys enjoyed our first book of Biography Month, and I can't wait to see you guys for our next biography. Bye, guys.